Let's interpret a study using ZZPAT software. I find the icon on my desktop, ZZPAT, double click on it, and it opens. There should be a login and a sign in password. Fill those out and click on OK. Once the program fully loads, I'll go up to the top left hand corner and click on the open folder. I'll open my studies and find the patient that I want to do the interpretation on. In this case, it's Crystal Smith. I double click on her name and then double click on the test. If I've done multiple studies with her or multiple interpretations, they'll be available. I click on the top one. The entire study will load as well as the report. It goes to page two. I'll click back to page one, just so I can verify that this is Crystal Smith. I'll click on page two, so I can do a review of her test study results. I see the sleep summary, giving me the time values for the test. I see her AHI at 16.1. I see the oxygen statistics, desaturations, and pulse rate statistics. I can continue down through the study to look at the other hypnograms to review other information that will help me in my diagnosis and interpretation. I can see down at the bottom the areas that are marked in red are those periods of time where the CZPAT software believed the patient was in REM. And I'd see those match up quite closely with drops in oxygen, saturation, and heart rate acceleration. I click to go to page 3 up at the top. And I can now review body position statistics, snoring statistics, and my sleep staging chart. I can look at the bottom and see that the patient fell into the moderate category with an AHI of 16.1. I have a good understanding of what I want to put in the patient report at this point in time, so I'll either minimize or close the report itself. I'll go up to the top and click on Report and then clinical diagnosis. This will open up a blank slate for me to put in additional information into my diagnosis and recommendations. I can put additional history items, medications, comments, and of course when I get down to the diagnosis and recommendations. There are built-in templates for these and you can free type in the fields as well. In this case, I'm going to go right to Diagnosis and Recommendation. I click on my down arrow, and I'll see that there are opportunities to select mild, moderate, or severe. In this case, I'll pick moderate for her, since her HI was 16.1, and click Add. Again, you can free type in this area if there's additional information that you want to put in for her. I will type in AHI predominance in REM. I'll then go over to Recommendations and click on that down arrow. There are multiple selections that I can make. I'll click on the down arrow for Recommendations and click on my first setting and click on Add. In this case, my first recommendations is a in-lab titration. I click on the download arrow again and put Alternative for CPAP. I then can click on and add additional information. I can click on avoid alcohol and sedatives and add that again, and that can complete my study. I can click on the word sleep report and see what my present report will look like. Once it fully opens, I'll click the back arrow to go to the first page, and I can see my summary and diagnosis as it now stands. If I'm satisfied with that, I can close the file, go back to report up at the top, click on clinical diagnosis once again. I'm satisfied with that report and I can now click on set as reported and click on OK. The report is now locked and will no longer be editable. I can inform the tech or administrative staff to let them know I've completed the interpretation for Crystal Smith and that they can print out the record as a PDF and import it into the medical record system. Thank you. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-888-748-2627.